Hey guys, Buffin Gaming back today, bringing another video for our favorite weapon series, and today we're going to be covering the Ash 12.7 millimeter, or also known as the Odin in Call of Duty: Modern Warfare, and just some attachments that I've been running with this in multiplayer, and why this is one of my favorite weapons here. So what I'll show you in the background throughout the course of the video is just some gameplay footage that I got today, and specifically I'll show you the full night vision map that I got playing in realism mode, where I think I went like 46 and 13. Um, with this particular weapon, so it's definitely a powerhouse, especially in realism where you can get those headshots. So let's jump into it. I'll show you the attachments that I'm running with it, why I like it, and then we'll get into some gameplay footage for you for multiplayer. So jumping right into it, you can see this is the final design for the Odin, which in real life is called the Ash 12.7 millimeter, or also the the Shock 12. And what this is is a Russian. CQB battle rifle for urban operations and it's a 12.7 millimeter round that this fires which essentially is a variation of a 50 caliber round and I believe it's a subsonic round that this fires it takes PSB ammunition is one of the one of these specific rounds as well as STS 130 and you see I'll jump really quick into our armory before we get into the actual weapons and if we jump into the armory, we covered two variations of this in the our weapon conversion video. So obviously we have the Ash 12, which I did a conversion on, and this is the particular version that I used in that video. And then also we have the the VSS sniper rifle from Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which is is also a Russian sniper rifle. So the cool thing about this weapon is you can make those two conversions with this particular weapon. But what I'm using on this Odin, to start off, I'm using a compensator. So what this compensator is going to do is pretty key for the Odin. Because it fires those 12.7 millimeter rounds, those big rounds, slow rate of fire, but it kicks very hard being the large caliber of the weapon. So we're going to want a compensator on there to help mitigate the recoil. So what that's going to do is help us with our recoil control, the cons being aim down the sight speed, as well as aiming stability, which really isn't a problem because we're going to make up with those in other places. So Keep that in mind, the barrel, I played around with all the different barrels for this weapon and I ended up deciding to go with the Odin Factory 420 millimeter. So this is the shortest barrel available, even shorter than the stock barrel that this comes with on the standard Odin. And what this is gonna do is assist with our ADS speed and our movement speed. The cons being bullet velocity and recoil control. So we're kind of making up for the cons that we got with the compensator there. And we're gonna, oh, this particular barrel is going to allow us to move faster and for me my particular play style I need to be able to move quicker in specific situations so the Odin definitely can limit you in mobility if you put on certain attachments so this is going to help us with that and allow us to move faster next up again with ADS speed and mobility being an issue I like to run a tack laser so this is going to assist you with the ADS speed aiming stability and the aim walking steadiness and the only con being as we've talked about in all these videos is the laser is visible to enemies but that's only when you're adsing so if you're careful about where you're adsing and you'll see me do it in the video especially in the night map you don't want your enemy to have line of sight laser to see where you're coming from so what i like to do while i'm adsing is just aim at a like a door and then when i see targets come around the door i'll move slightly to the side and just light them up that way i'm not giving away my position with that laser so we'll go ahead and slap that tech laser on there Next up, I like to run a Canon Hybrid sight. So I've played around with a lot of sights for this particular build. Um, I like this one because you have the 3.25 zoom, and then you have the Canon Red Dot on the 45 degree mount, which you can swap to if you're in close quarter battles, such as like inside close buildings, and you're going up stairwells, things like that is when you want to use that particular sight. And then at medium to long range, I like to use that. Cronin 3.25 site that we have there on the top. The other rec other recommended sites that I did like doing this was the PPX Hollow, and that's an American, just a different variation of a holographic essentially. I also I also liked the holographic. You can't really go wrong there. But my other two favorites were the VLK three times optic, which is a Russian site, and also the APX5 holographic site. On those two, are both Russian. Uh, sites that would go very well with this particular weapon and if you're really into red dots and you want to stay true to the Russian sites you can go with that monocle reflex site which again is a Russian red dot site so now that we covered that we're going to skip out on the stock I was running a little bit of the um, the FTAC XL Elite Comb to assist with ADS speed 
and aiming stability and this does boost our mobility a little bit there as well i was running this but i had to take it off due to the other attachments that i needed so if you're someone that wants to pick and choose of the attachments i would definitely recommend this if you're going to take off one of the ones that i'm recommending here next we're going to skip out on the perk as well as the rear grip and the ammunition i'm running just the base 20 rounds and again we don't really need a grip because we're kind of making up with the anything you would get from the grip we're kind of making up with that elsewhere so i'm going to skip out on both of these ones it does come with 25 and 35 round magazine if you do need it, but I find that the 20 round mag, especially in realism, seems to be more than enough. Next up, the underbarrel. So for this particular one, I'm going with the Ranger foregrip. So this is gonna assist with recoil control and aiming stability. Again, the con being aim walking movement speed and ADS speed. So you can see we're really adding on a lot of, anything that we're getting cons for, we're kind of making up with other attachments or mitigating them at least. Um, if you're somebody that really is bothered by the ADS speed on this, you can go ahead and do a tactical foregrip or a commando foregrip because both of those are going to give you good results for the pros and the movement speed, I believe, is the only movement speed and yeah, is the only con for both of those. So you don't take a hit with the ADS speed, which is a good thing. So this is our final version of the Odin or the Ash 12.7 millimeter. And again, I'll link both of those videos down below. So the Ash 12.7 is a battle rifle of Russian origin dedicated to the FSB, is where, what it was originally designed for, for CQB, which is Close Quarters Battle Urban Operations. Um, and this was basically developed specifically by request for the FSB in those urban combat situations because it's, not, it's not a very large rifle, and again, they needed something that could put targets down quick, and being that it's a 12.7 millimeter round, it does just that. So if you're a Tarkov fan, you may recognize this from Escape from Tarkov, and I believe it's in some other games as well. Definitely one of my favorite weapons in this, in this game for sure. Another recommended enhancement that you could run on this, depending on how your play style is, is the Colossal Suppressor. So... I'll just show that really quickly here. The Colossal Suppressor is, believe it or not, a real-life suppressor for the Ash-12. And so it's very accurate to the IRL build. And this thing is very good for sound suppression, obviously, damage at range, and recoil control with the Convene ADS speed and aim walking steadiness. So if you're looking for more long-range engagements, check out my VS or my VS VKS video um, that I made with this. And then also, that's really it for this. I think this is overall a really good weapon, and it hits really hard. Now, you'll see me playing in the background in the realism game mode, and this is where I've been playing basically multiplayer for the past month and a half is, is realism. So there's one-shot headshots, and all the other damage is the same, but you don't have a HUD. So it's much more immersive, and the good thing is with this Odin, specifically with that Cronin Hybrid on there, I'm able to... You'll see me get a lot of headshots, just one tap people, and they're down for the count. So you can do that with any weapon, but being the Odin, 20 round magazine, I'm running on this in a slow rate of fire. If you can make, if you can place those shots well, which I find is even easier with that Corona Hybrid with that 3.25 times zoom, it definitely pays off. You save your ammunition, and you can get those first two shots on target pretty pretty easily before it starts kicking, and then you need to gain control again. But luckily, with the attachments we have on here. It performs very well so you'll see the main gameplay i'll be showing here in the background is headquarters and we did this in this was a night operation on realism mode and i i think i went, ended up going 46 and 13 or something along those lines and i never got the the chopper gunner unfortunately because i was really rushing a lot in this and that's kind of what i built this weapon for was i put that 420 millimeter barrel on there so i could move fast get into objectives and kind of push hard and then you'll see me at times kind of lay back and play it slow when the situation calls for it so you really got to be able to read what's happening in realism being that there's no mini map and you have no hud so you need to really use your ears to hear what's going on around you and rely on where your team is on the map things along those lines so just to me it's just a, a better way to play the mode and not a lot of people are are camping like i know it was a big complaint for the core modes of the game so definitely if you haven't played realism check it out also let me know down below what you think of this build of the ash 12 this is my so far my favorite weapon build that i've run with the ash 12 with the attachments 
and this is one of the one of the best loadouts I've done with the the S12 or the Odin so far and so I think of all the weapons in our favorite weapon series this is right up there too I think it performs very well and you'll again you'll see me get those headshots quick so let me know what you guys think of this gameplay what do you think of the S12 what attachments do you like to run on it also, just in another other news, the Season 1, as we've talked about, was extended till February 11th. So, you'll have extra time there. They'll be doing double XP, double tier boost, as well as double weapon XP. So, I know that is actually going on this weekend, is double XP and double weapon, weapon XP. So, if you're trying to level up a gun, like I'm trying to, basically after this, I'm going to go back to the Kilo 1 for 1 or the HK 433 and finish leveling that up and then go to my Ramp 7 or my MTAR. I'm definitely going to finish those up hopefully this week and take advantage of that double weapon xp and try and level up all the way to 155 as soon as i can there so that'll be good let me know what you guys think of this build what are you looking forward to also for a season two as far as i want to hear what you want to see for blueprints as well as weapons coming up in season two and beyond what base weapons do you want to see added to the game what conversions do you want to see added to the game as far as small attachments added per weapon to create different weapons so i have a video I'll be doing on that as well and we're going to go over different attachments that you can add to each weapon or a few of the weapons of the game and you'll be able to create multiple new weapons out of that weapon so what they've done with the gun this here is very unique they don't really need to they can add two weapons per season which is more than enough and then if they also were to add attachments here and there you can create four or five new weapons just off of the attachments that they were to make if they were to give us the right ones so I think that's a big thing. Also, what we saw with the Season 1 with the Holger 26 or the G36, MG36 as it was added, as well as the Ram 7, which is the TAR-21, we were able to make a few different variations of those weapons. Specifically with the G36, we were able to make, I believe, four different variations of the G36 with the MG36, G36C, G36K, A4, and the base G36 assault rifle. So... Things like that, they can add one weapon with multi with the right attachments, and we can make a multitude of weapons. So I'm going to go over a big list that I have for that. We'll probably have to break that up, but until next time, I'm going to leave you guys with the gameplay for this particular video. Let me know what you guys think. Have you played Realism? Are you a fan of the Odin or the Ash 12? And what builds do you want to see going forward? So let me know down below in the comments. Also be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and you're enjoying the content. We're going to be having much more coming, specifically when Season 2 comes and we get the new Battle Pass stream and new weapons. I'm really looking forward to covering those, seeing what conversions we can do for that. And new Spec Ops missions. We have some Spec Ops missions coming up too in that series. So a lot of stuff coming. I'm really excited to bring this to you guys. And again, we'll be doing the giveaway on the channel here once Season 2 gets closed. We'll be doing the $35 gift card giveaway for your console of choice so i'll be announcing that when we get closer to the start of season two and the stipulations to get yourself entered into that so i'll go ahead and leave you guys with the gameplay and let me know what you think down below till next time buffer and gaming out hq contested
Friendly care package is there. Failed. Report for debrief. 